Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to another session on human resource management for your upcoming ESIC Deputy Director examination. So, this class me in this we are going to pick up some more questions on human resource management, which is going to act as a good homework for you guys because you will end up getting some good topics that can be asked in the examination, and at the same time a good reality check as to uh, how how much uh, do you remember of whatever you studied. MCQs have a lot of advantages, and these small sessions are going to be very, very helpful for you. Before we start with the session, uh, I want to clarify certain things and tell you a little bit about the course as well, because I keep getting a lot of uh, comments in the comments box that uh, how is the course, what is the course about, what is covered, what is not covered, etc., etc. So let us start with that. Uh, as you go on the website in the by courses section, you can see an ESIC section here at the bottom. When you click on that, you will be taken on this particular page where you can go through the first video where the notification came out. If you have any doubts about that, and uh, there is a forty percent discount going on on uh, ESI course. Now ESI course ESI syllabus is divided into two parts: Part A and Part B. Part A is simple with only English language, and Part B covers a total of ten subjects, out of which Human Resource Management is the first one, which I will be covering today. The course covers both Part A and Part B. The course originally is of twelve thousand five hundred, but after forty percent discount, you will get it at uh, as less as seven thousand five hundred, somewhere around that. Now about the dates, we don't know yet when the dates uh, will be finalized or what the dates will be. However, we are certain that it will be either nineteenth December, according to the calendar given by UPSC, or if it is not held on nineteenth December, then it will be held in February and then in March. Okay, so we have enough time to prepare for the examination. बहुत ज़्यादा सिलेबस नहीं है, so you will have a nice time preparing for this exam. With this, let us start with the session. Okay. Here we have uh, the session for today on human resource management. Let's start with the first question. The question says Taylor called military type type of foreman to dash unity of direction, unity of command, chain of command, none of the above. Now you might be wondering. I I understand and I know what the question might be in your mind that. Uh, the question grammatically somehow is a little difficult to understand. I don't know what exactly. The examiner is trying to ask here, but it has been seen in the past that these kind of small questions, factual questions, are often grammatically incorrect, whether it is by UGC or by UPSC, and therefore the same has been maintained there so that you get used to the idea of understanding what the examiner is asking in the question by yourself as well. Okay, Taylor called military type of foreman to dash. Basically, the question is asking that. Military type of foreman feature is available in which of the uh, principles given by Taylor? Unity of direction, unity of command, chain of command, or none of the above. Now, unity of direction says that uh, whatever you're doing should be going in one direction. Unity of command says that one subordinate should have only one boss. Okay, he cannot have multiple bosses. He has to be. Directed by one person only. There can be multiple subordinates under one superior. However, there should be only one one uh, you know person commanding a group of people or even a one, even one person if that's possible. So unity of command basically tells us the importance of hierarchy in the organization. Okay, and the type of hierarchy that should be followed. That is why it comes the closest to military type of foreman, and that is why our answer is B, unity of command. I hope that's clear. Very basic question. थोड़ा सा logic लगाओगे, common sense लगाओगे, you will be able to answer it correctly. Common sense is not so common as I have been saying quite a lot of times. My uh, teacher used to say this very often, and it made sense that common sense is not so common. Among all of us, okay. So we need to make sure that we are at all times using common sense, applying common sense in the questions that are in front of us. There will be a lot of questions where, by merely applying common sense, you will be able to answer the questions correctly. So make sure that you are doing that, okay. Let's come to the second question. According to Dash, selection process should be taken lightly. 
Selena Williams, Henry Fayol, Yoder and Lawrence Peter. The spelling of Lawrence is incorrect here. So I am correcting it. It is E and not A. Number one. Secondly, your objective is to not only answer this question, but at the same time, read, go online and read the principles or the theories given by all these people. Very important. If you don't do that, you are not taking full advantage, making full advantage of these sessions. Spend 10 minutes each on every theorist. That will be enough. And you will have covered four topics, not one. Four principles, not one. Henry Fuel, sabko pata hi hoga. So you can just revise that if you want to. Selena Williams and Yoder are new. So I would recommend keep haan jake padho. Peter gave a very popular principle called as Peter Principle. What this principle said was that people in the organization, employees in the organization, rise up to the level of incompetency. Not competency, incompetency. What it means, very interesting principle. It will be very fun to read it. If you read it in detail, I will tell you briefly. What does incompetency mean? Let's say this is an individual. He starts as, let's say, a military organization. Let's say he starts as a lieutenant. Okay, for example, or a JCO. He will rise up over time. According to Peter principle, the last post that he will hold before retirement or before he realizes, the, the management realizes, the organization realizes that he cannot be promoted further. The last post that he will be holding, he will be incompetent to hold that post. He would have been competent if he had been stopped at a post or at uh, you know uh, a rank below that but now the last post that he has been given he ha he's incompetent to do it and that is probably one of the reasons that he cannot be promoted further so the principle of incompetency or pretty peter principle was given by uh, lawrence P peter and that is why that is where he said that the selection process should not be taken lightly okay so it evolved from this Peter principle. I hope it's clear now. So the answer to this question is option D, Lawrence Peter. Next question, an heir apparent is trained as part of, first of all, it has to be an, an heir apparent is trained as part of coaching, in basket training, understudy or internship. What is your homework again? Because these are not small concepts. These are very detailed concepts. 5 coaching education or let's say you are in school and your basketball teacher is a coach so that is also coaching but in terms of human resource management there is a different definition for coaching i would request that you understand that go online google it wikipedia pe bhi jaoge to basic Human resource management ki definition mil jayegi coaching ki remember that. Okay. Coaching in basket training, understudy and internship. The answer to this question is understudy. Wherein there is a superior who makes someone an understudy. And this understudy is taught through observation and delegation of tasks. I have understudy understudy. I am doing something. Let's say I am teaching and my understudy is sitting here. And I'm training him by teaching live and telling him, okay, observe that I'm teaching and now try to figure out what am I doing differently. Second step might be delegation. I might give him some small, small tasks wherein I feel that he will not be making any major mistakes. And I might just proofread them to make sure that there are no mistakes there. So, I use a lot of methods I use in my understudy in order to make sure that he can... Uh, take over what I am doing. I can delegate majority of my task or whatever I'm teaching him, whatever I'm training him for. I can, uh, after some point, I can delegate those tasks to him. I can give it to him. Ki bhai, ab tum karoge ye kaam. Okay, I'm retiring. Now you are supposed to be doing it. So that is the major purpose of understudy. Okay, so the answer to this question is understudy. Let's come to the next question. In order to ensure that an employee becomes well versed with different types of operations, the type of training that should be provided is well versed with different types of operations. This is the key here, different types of operations, not only one operation, different types of operations, vestibule, rotation, role playing, junior board. 
again your homework you have to spend 5 5 10 10 minutes on all of these terms through which you will basically cover uh, everything about training and development aapka training majority yahan se cover ho jayega okay that is how these sessions help if you feel that merely by going through these questions and answering them correctly you will be able to uh, make use of these sessions no you will be wasting a lot of your time एक्चुअल हेल्प जो होगी एक्चुअल जो यूज होगा दैट विल बी डन ओनली वेन यू रियलाइज कि भाई सही तरीका क्या है द करेक्ट मेथड इज गो टू द टॉपिक एंड नॉट डोंट फोकस ऑन द क्वेश्चन फोकस ऑन द टॉपिक द टॉपिक हेयर इज ट्रेनिंग यू टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग वन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रेनिंग वेयर द ट्रेनी इज टॉट अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन वेस्टिब्यूल रोटेशन रोल प्लेइंग एंड जूनियर बोर्ड द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज रोटेशन बी बहुत कॉमन सेंस वाली बात है अगेन आई एम कमिंग बैक टू द सेम पॉइंट एट टाइम्स यू हैव टू अप्लाई कॉमन सेंस इवन इफ यू डोंट नो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ यू फील दैट यू डोंट नो द करेक्ट आंसर इन दिस केस रोटेशन में क्या होगा यू विल बी मूविंग फ्रॉम वन डिपार्टमेंट टू दर तो नॉर्मल सी बात है यू विल अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन अलग अलग टाइप्स के ऑपरेशन आप समझ लोगे पढ़ लोगे उनको समझ जाओगे यू कैन यू विल बी एबल टू डू दैम so that is rotation and through that different types of operations will be learned so basics are common sense hai ki ye kahin na kahin sync ho rahe hain you can take this fluke take this chance if you feel ki bhai ye logic lagaya ja sakta hai okay sometimes you will be right sometimes you will be wrong but aise common sense ya logic lagane zaruri hain exam mein different types are given here they ex- explained there but i have given you this homework that you have to uh, go through all these different types of training methods and मेक श्योर दैट यू रिमेंबर दैम जिससे कि फ्यूचर स्लाइड्स में फ्यूचर सेशन्स में जो भी हम क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे यू आर एबल टू आंसर दोज क्वेश्चन एज वेल दे माइट बी दैट इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन ऑन वेस्ट सीव्यूल ट्रेनिंग ओके और समथिंग ऑन जूनियर बोर्ड विच इज समथिंग न्यू तो अगर इफ दैट हैपन्स इट्स योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर एबल टू आंसर दैम करेक्टली ओके Last question for today: The factor comparison method of job evaluation was given by factor comparison method of job evaluation. Okay, so one objective again another homework. What is job evaluation? आपको नहीं पता है तो ये आपको पढ़ना है. You have to read on it. Five minutes will be enough uh, for this. Factor comparison method. What is factor comparison method? Very important. You should be going through this as well. Uh, second topic that you have to read third is what was the principle or theory given by taylor what was the theory given by theodore levite and what was the theory given by thomas helter ye bhi aapko padhna hai this is your third responsibility so one session i am teaching you in 10 minutes 15 minutes the same session you are taking home one hour worth of homework and you're spending the next one hour reading on your own it will also help you immensely इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग की भाई मुझे खुद भी कैसे पढ़ना है स्पून फीडिंग नहीं चाहिए एक पॉइंट पे आई ऑल्सो हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट आई एम रीडिंग साइमल्टेनियसली आई एम एनहेंसिंग माई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन स्पैन आई एम एनहेंसिंग माई रीडिंग एबिलिटी माई एबिलिटी टू सिट ऑन द चेयर फॉर लॉन्गर आवर्स ऑल दोज बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी थॉमस हिल्टर इट्स अ मेथड ऑफ जॉब इवेल्यूएशन वेर रेदर देन गिविंग अ रैंक टू दी होल जॉब द वैल्यू इज गिवन to some of the factors by breaking down the whole job so job ko break down kar diya jata hai into different parts not one part into different parts and then based on uh, and and every part is given a value and based on accumulation of all these parts uh, uh, an overall worth of the job is decided so basically different factors which are involved in a job are evaluated separately and then they are combined together and then given an overall value okay So this was all for this session I hope it was useful if you have any doubts you can reach out to me and the team on 9999466225 okay you can also write to me on info@anujindal.in okay and through this uh within 24 hours the team gets back to all the students whatever doubts you might have you can reach out to me also through this you can ask them that you wish to connect with me and they will forward your message to me uh to which i can reply to you okay so this was all for this session i hope it was useful uh, all the very best guys take care bye bye